Okay, so I just made it here to Mommy Coco. They supposedly have the best tacos in Dallas. I'll be the judge of that. Believe it when I see it. So let me get out, show a little view of the area. I've never been down here before. This is, it's called Old East Dallas. So downtown Dallas is like right over in that direction, but you may not be able to see it over here. So let me get out. Uh, order some food. And also, I did a POV drive of the Genesis Coupe, but the POV drive will only be on my game channel. So, have the food right there. Can't wait to try it, but it's two. We're at around like 2.20 now, so I need to be back by four. I'm gonna go back, watch Sailor Moon, you know, Toonami, the wannabe Toonami these days, but still. So I watch Sailor Moon, Dragon Ball Z Kai and all that. And uh, sit down and just enjoy my food. And uh, I'll do a rating later. Tell you what it's like after I eat it, so. Let me get the driving again. I'm not gonna record on the way back, like camera drain down to like, at least that battery drained down at 30, it was 42% when I got here, it was like 38 now. So I'm going to let it cool down the GoPro and uh, and chill. I might look at King Kong, uh, the new King Kong movie on Prime on Sunday. Cook spaghetti, haven't had that in a long time. Even though I really don't need carbs right now, I'm pretty diabetic apparently, blah blah blah. Health problems, right? Anyway, stay tuned. And also, it does smell good. Four chicken tacos, can too. I'm about to warm, warm these up. I guess it's four. Yeah. Not big. Okay, so here's the food. Unfortunately, I heated up a little bit too much, but you know, I had to go take a shower, so I was warming it up. And I let the aluminum fall off. I didn't think it heat up fast enough, but it did. So it's a little bit crispy. Whatever, I'm hungry. I have to watch Sailor the Moon here, but the first signs I'm seeing that is a red flag or negative for me is mozzarella cheese. I don't care what anyone says, mozzarella cheese should not be on burritos at all. And unfortunately, the only restaurants like, you know, and. and <laughs> In general, like Texas, Dallas area, the only ones that have like the yellow cheddar cheese, that would be Taco Bell, Taco Bueno. And then recently I went to the Taco Casa and that place is not going to last long. So, you know, this food, it looks okay. I'm not expecting much. Um, the tacos, yeah, they're sort of out of order in the box. You know, I didn't, <laughs> it was, it was up upright for the most part when I had in the passenger seat so it wasn't tossed around but it's just the way it was sort of laid out in there I couldn't tell like it's supposed to be four chicken tacos but the chicken was just sort of dumped in there it's like I guess it looks like eight tortillas multiple layers or something I have no idea but I'll eat it I'll let you know but again mozzarella cheese that's already negative for me so I think the Mexican food I'm looking for is called Sonoran I think that's what they had in Arizona. That was the best Mexican food I've ever had. It was Alberto's Mexican restaurant in Arizona. And they had the yellow cheese, not mozzarella. And also, you know, the burritos are a little small. I guess I'm looking for medium-sized tortillas. Um, and it's either extremely small, and unfortunately most places have the extremely large uh, burrito wraps, which I don't like. I don't like rice on my burritos and, you know. People dump all these different sour cream, all that. I don't like all that in my burritos. I like bean and cheese. It's difficult to find these days, especially in Texas and Dallas areas. And, um, but yeah, you know, most people like the sheep pole. I hate it. 
the large burritos and everything. I had like Chipotle once, like the bowl recently, and like over a year ago. And uh, for the first time, at least the bowl. And then before that, over a decade ago, I think I had one burrito, but I can't remember. But that food makes me choke. You know, I can't handle it. And uh, but yeah, so I'm gonna eat here, and I'll let you know how it tastes. So Elmo's coming on now. I'll get back to you. Okay, I'm editing video right now. So what did I think about the food? Well, as I suspected, you know, I didn't think it was anything amazing. I thought the food was okay. Actually, the guy working there at the cash register, he said the same thing. He said the food's okay when I walk in, which is very interesting. Um, I told him it was my first time there. That was the first thing he said. He said, oh, you know, the food's okay. So there was, you know, a woman cooking. There was a lady cooking. And he was mainly doing the cash register. And those were like really the only two people that I saw in terms of working. It was a very small space. So mostly you just want to walk in, order the food, and walk out. Again, <laughs> the Mexican food in Dallas is disappointing and overall terrible. You know, I'm looking for that Mexican food that's just not here in Texas. Texas Mexican food. The Tex-Mex is all overrated. Once you've had food, I'm telling you, West Coast or obviously South where Mexico's at, you know, you'll you understand what I'm talking about. But, like I said, the best Mexican food I had was Alberto's Mexican food restaurant. That was the one on Route 66 in Arizona, but I think they have multiple locations across Arizona. Now, I still, I haven't uploaded those vlogs. That was when I went out to uh, Pixar and everything. That was 2019. So I haven't uploaded those vlogs, but I have hundreds of videos. I still haven't edited those. I still need to get around to my San Francisco vlog and my Los Angeles vlog. You know, but it was basic. That's why I like beans and cheese on burritos. For the most part. I do not like rice on my burritos. I don't know why it's a thing. Like why everyone likes that rice and dumping all this other, you know, guacamole, sour cream and everything else on top of it. I don't understand that. Um, I've tried stuff like that a few times. And it's like, ugh, like it's okay. But the best is simple bean and cheese burritos, but they're not done correctly here in, in Texas area. The closest thing is really is Taco Bueno. Which is disappointing. It's crazy because I grew up on Taco Bueno. But then once I had some Mexican food out there, you know, in Arizona, in Southern California, it spoiled me. And it's like, I can never eat Texas food, Texas Mexican food. I can't appreciate it as much anymore. That's for sure. I'll put it that way. I just can't appreciate the Tex-Mex or Mexican food in Texas anymore because of the food i've experienced in arizona in southern california um yeah the you know i had the, the chicken taco i'm not really a big taco person either i'm more of a burrito person a burrito and quesadilla person so but they said they were the best tacos rated they were on the news channel like if you go to mommy coco's website they're on the freaking dallas morning news they have a video posted on their website of them being on the dallas news like, and that's fascinating to me that, like, these are the top rated places here in Dallas. But to me, they're very mediocre and very basic. And that's the other thing. I was reading a post yesterday on Reddit where, like, some guy moved from Arizona to, um, he moved from Arizona to Chicago. And he's looking for good uh, Mexican food. And I took note of what he said, and, I, and I've heard this were before but he describes the Arizona food because I'm not a native there he describes it as Sonoran S-O-N-O-R-A-N I think if I'm thinking right Sonoran that's the way he described the style but I knew exactly what he's talking about in the reddit post and he said why is it so difficult to find bean and cheese burritos in Chicago that's what I've been asking you know living here in Texas why is it so difficult to find good bean and cheese burritos, right? And, you know, lots of people were coming after him in the comment section. I was reading this. It's a Reddit, it's a Reddit post out there. And they were coming after him saying, oh, Taco Bell, Taco Bell. People kept repeating Taco Bell. Some people said Taco Cabana. 
And unless you've had the food out there uh, in Southern California or Arizona, New Mexico, you you can't comprehend the taste of what he's talking about that he's looking for. It's not like Taco Bueno. But the crazy part is, it's not like Taco Bueno or Taco Bell, but the crazy thing is, is like I think the best one I had, like I said, Alberto's in Arizona, I think that is just a basic franchise out there. But the food, the Mexican food is like 50 or 100 times better. Just the way it tastes for some reason. Just the way they made it. It's, just, it's basic. It was beans and cheese. And it's superior to every other Mexican food that I've had in Texas. And I'm pretty sure that's just a basic franchise. It says family owned if you look it up. But even then, I think it's just one of those basic franchises that's known to Arizona area. Right, to the state of Arizona. Right? There may be a few in New Mexico, I'm not sure. Mainly Arizona. So, I thought th- I thought this food was okay. But again, I'm still looking for that good, Mex- good quality Mexican food. And Mom and Coco is not it for me. So, what do I rate it? I'll have to give it a 3 out of 10. You know? And again, the, uh, the, honestly, the burrito, it had a strange taste. It wasn't a terrible taste. It wasn't a bad taste. It was strange. I, the, I probably could have, again, you know, I haven't had Taco Bueno in over a decade. You know, more. But I, I probably could have enjoyed just basic Taco Bueno burritos just as much and not even more than the burritos at Mommy Coco. The Taco Bueno burritos are, you know, they're a little bigger. And they use the cheddar cheese. And again, mozzarella cheese, I don't understand the hype about it and why it's like it's in everything, especially like, you know, in Texas. Um, It's just, it's, they put on everything. I'm like, where's the yellow cheddar? The yellow cheddar cheese tastes better, trust me, on burritos. Try it. Um, That's what Alberto's had. That was one of the things that made it taste better, too. Mozzarella's on quesadilla, yes, I understand. That's what I knew quesadillas to have was mozzarella for the most part. But for me, being a cheese burrito is supposed to have the yellow cheese, the cheddar cheese. And so, yeah, man, like, the best way I could describe the burritos that I had today it's sort of like, it's not, it It reminds me of, uh, you know, you buy the frozen burritos at at Walmart, you know, for the kids, right? And the, and the little kids warm them up in the microwave. That's what it sort of reminded me of when I ate the burritos today. It didn't have that taste, obviously, like a frozen microwave taste. But there was some type of strange taste to it. And then combined with the mozzarella, it just had a, it tasted like a different type of ch- mozzarella cheese to begin with. You know, I just, I thought it was okay. All right, and the price wasn't, prices weren't too bad. But I probably will not be going back to Mommy Coco. But again, this is what Texas and Dallas natives know here. This is... Like, if it, I'm telling you, if, you, if you're living in, if you're just living in other states, honestly, other than New Mexico, Arizona, California, and obviously Mexico and the South, like, I don't think you've had good Mexican food until you try the Mexican food in those states. That's my final statement there. Go to those states, go to Mexico, try the food, and then you'll see what I'm talking about. I and I in comments on that Reddit post someone mentioned like just different posts out there. You look on Google, Taco Bueno comes up and Taco Cabana. I've had Taco Cabana once. It was like a big you know, and I have high blood pressure anyway, so I had it like one time. And it just tastes like a big ball of salt in my hand. Taco Cabana is, is gross. The burrito I had was absolutely gross. The one time I had it. It's overrated. Um, there's another place around here called Valeria's. It has like, you know, five out of five scores in Dallas area. 
I think it's called Valeria, and I and I I actually I don't know if I upload the video, but when I came back from Los Angeles in May 2023, I was looking for good Mexican food burritos after having the one in Arizona, and uh, I didn't like it. And even the guy at the Valeria place, I think it's Valerie, it's Valerie or Valeria. Even the guy working there, he was like, ah, man, the best food in Southern California. But he took note of Arizona as well. He knows what I'm talking about. He worked there. He didn't even like the Mexican food at the Valerie's place here. Uh, it was the one in, like, McKinney, Dallas. So, yeah, man. I actually, in coming back from Los Angeles in 2023, in May 2023, I actually... I grabbed like extra burritos from the restaurant that I went to in Arizona. It wasn't Alberto's because they were closed, but I went to another place. And I got like multiple burritos and brought it back here. So driving all the way from Arizona and brought it back here and 80 days later. That's just how good the food is. It's like, a, like if I could ship like a whole bunch of burritos or something from Arizona, New Mexico, like I would. I'm telling you, man. Anyway, that's my review. If you want to see, like I said, I did a driving POV to go out there. It's sort of close to downtown Dallas. You know, if you want to see it, see the city, whatever. Mostly just a lot of miserable traffic as usual. But if you want to see that, that video will be on the game channel. Um, and also, like, I have been uploading animations. I'm supposed to get to my Elsa Mizang animation, but I don't have the student access to Maya anymore so I'll probably have to buy a whole license for Maya which is like $1,800 so that's why I haven't been uploading anything for Maya and then I'm dealing with all these other you know health problems and everything right now so all right everything sucks right now anyway that's all I have that's my review of Mommy Coco 3 out of 10 thanks for watching and I'll see you